I've been playing a lot of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands lately. Um, it's a game that I've... It started off pretty rough for me, but I've liked it a lot. I have a character with two full days playtime, and while there are some things about it that I think could use some improvements, overall, I think it's a, a pretty good game. I, it's like my second favorite game in the Borderlands franchise. Not saying too much, because other than Borderlands 2, there there isn't really much to go on, really. Um, however, I am a PlayStation Trophy Hunter. I want to get this game as my 102nd Platinum Trophy. But I am struggling really, really hard over one trophy in particular. And I've seen some people complain about it online. And every time I've seen, and every thread that I've seen, and every reply I've gotten, just pretty much tells people to suck it up and stop complaining. You'll get it eventually. But that kind of, like, that's kind of not the point. So, Wonderlands acts as a very standard Borderlands game. Um, is get max level, do all the missions, do all the side missions. Um, there's no achievements for collectibles other than, um, doing some encounters kind of collectibles. There's this overworld area where there's these dungeon doors. You gotta complete all the dungeon doors and complete, like, ten miscellaneous encounters in the overworld. But that's kind of it. There's nothing too, like, outlandish in, in the achievement list. There's nothing relating for playing the individual characters. Nothing. It's, it's solid. And it doesn't look like it would take that long. However, the one trophy that's catching me up is the one to fully max out every inventory upgrade. Which, on the surface, doesn't sound that bad. However, I said earlier, I have a character with two full days playtime. When I got my second to last trophy, I had one full day playtime. And the second to last trophy was just to... Uh, complete all the side missions. So it has literally taken me like another 24 hours just getting money for inventory upgrades and I'm still maybe only halfway done. There is a way to duplicate money, but that involves save scumming and backing up a save online or on another drive, um, giving all your money to someone else, deleting that character, re-uploading that character, doing it all over again until you have the $305 million that it takes to fully upgrade your inventory. And frankly, I don't want to do that. I shouldn't have to do that, which is my big thing here. Like I mentioned before, someone did the math. I'm not going to like try to confirm that because I don't know how much all the inventory upgrades cost. You can figure it out. Every upgrade is... 0.5 times more than the previous one. So uh, take the number, divide it by two, and then add that number to the original one, and that's how much the next one will cost. Um, I don't know if that holds up for all of them, but that's what it's dumped in so far. Um, and there's one category that has 23 items. The next closest is 13. It's a lot of money. I'm not going to go and, like... Confirm that it's 305 million, but 305 million honestly sounds correct. And the best money making methods I've found so far get me about 4 million an hour. Like a real life hour, 4 million. Like it's insane. There is, no, like, I don't understand why they made the prices so high. I saw somebody say that it's the same prices that they were on Borderlands 3. However, by the time Borderlands 3 had this many, the level cap was like 60. Which is 20 levels higher than it is in Wonderland. So you get 20 levels lower money. Because that's how it works. I I can't... I, I don't know what, what's going on. Like, why are they so expensive? I have literally spent 24 real-life hours grinding money. Uh, asterisk, I've been... Like, going to all the different bosses, spending half an hour farming them, and seeing, like, which one drops the most consistent money. Um, so I, I know what the answers are. Like, from what I... I might do, like, a separate video on it, because I've... Like, I'm going through all the bosses for money farming. The best ones so far seem like Zomboss, Dragonlord, or farming extended chaos runs. And getting, like, spells or rocket launchers at the end from the barf bunnies. Those seem to be the three best I've seen so far. Um, Son of a Witch has been the worst for some reason. Like, just, he is, like, astronomically lower than everyone else. But there's no way for me to speed this up unless I specifically do 
the save scum exploit and just duplicate my money which again i don't want to do and shouldn't have to do and I, I like just every thread i've seen has been people complaining about it and other people going like oh just duplicate it or oh stop complaining because there's no reason to complain we need a money sink w why do we need a money sink money should not be like the biggest issue in borderlands once you hit late game in a borderlands game money shouldn't be a factor Like, I, I think that the biggest issue was when they stopped, they moved the SDUs from Iridium and Borderlands 2. I know in Borderlands 1 they were money as well, but in Borderlands 2 they were Iridium and Borderlands 3 they were Moonstones. They should still be that special currency. Currently, in what tiny thing is Wonderlands, we have Moon Orbs, which is the special currency. Um, there is a hard cap of 4,000, and I'm sitting at a hard cap of 4,000. I know that. They, they're used to enchant your weapons and stuff, and the enchantments get expensive, like super, super expensive. The The price, it starts off at two moonstones or moon orbs to do it, and then it doubles every time. So you can only enchant them ten times before you physically can't anymore, which is also dumb. Like, I hate that. But I am not, like, on my character, I finished my build, right? Like, I, I, after two days, I've finished my build. I don't need to get it anymore unless I want to farm different variants for different... Because I don't have perfect enchantments on them or, or something. But I don't need my moon orbs because I'm not enchanting anything. I want to go and start a second character, but I can't because I want to get this achievement done first. And the one, to be fair, the one inventory upgrade that is that goes up to 23 is one that is shared between classes. Uh, of the two that are shared between classes. However, if I start a new character, I'm not going to get that kind of money until I'm done with the game. So that kind of defeats the purpose again. Uh, I haven't uploaded a video in like two years, and I am making this video out of just pure frustration. I wanted to make a video on the, the Platinum for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. But I'm struggling to get the Platinum. It has been four full days of doing nothing but grind money in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, and I am losing my mind. I don't want to have to uh, save Scum to get the money, but at this point, it, I'm going to hit three days playtime and still not be done. Not to mention, I'm getting horrible performance issues on the PS5 version of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Like, if I play longer than, like, two or three hours, the game just starts freezing. And that obviously is an issue when I'm just trying to grind money. But, yeah, I just wanted to make this video to complain about the money issue because there's no reason that it should be this expensive. Money sink is completely irrelevant in a game like this. And now, like... Money is a limiter in the early game. Once you get late game, you shouldn't really need money for anything. But the fact that I have been completely done with the game for over 20, for roughly 24 hours of playtime, and I still have all this money I need to grind. Because I would like to reiterate, I am done with my character. At this point, I would make another character and try to get a different and try to get a different build. I'm done. I don't need to grind anything else on this character. Except money. And I still need to grind probably over 100 million. At two days playtime. I am stubborn and I don't want to do the exploit because I... <laughs> because I, I want to find out how long this is going to take. Because this is driving me insane. But yeah, thank you guys very much for, for listening to me just complain, essentially, for like almost 10 minutes. Um, uh, I'm, whenever I get this Platinum, I'm going to do a video on the Platinum. Um, and then I'll, I have some other ideas for videos I'm going to do from there. But thank you guys very much for listening. Um, I hope you enjoyed, uh, and I hope you have a good day.